Hi everyone, if you have just started learning Python, you might have seen a strange file called init.py inside some folders and thought, what is this file even doing, right? Don't worry, in this video, we are going to understand exactly what this init.py, why it exists and how we can use it. In Python, when we write code, we usually create files, right? For example, we can have a file called math underscore tools.py that has some math functions. But what if we have many files that belong together like math underscore tools dot py, then string underscore tools dot py, then date underscore tools dot py. We don't want them lying around everywhere, right? So we put them inside a folder. Let's say we name that folder tools. Cool. But here is the thing. If you try to use it in another file, uh, like using an import, Python won't understand that tools is a package of modules unless we tell it so. So that is exactly this init.py comes in. So this init.py tells Python, hey, this folder is special. Treat it like a package. That's it. So just by adding an empty init.py file inside the folder, Python knows it can import things from it. Cool, right? Now we will try to open our code editor and try a small project. So here I have created a folder named my project. Now here inside this my project, I am going to create a folder uh, named my package okay in this my package folder i am going to create a file named init.py okay init again double underscore dot py and here one more uh, file i am giving uh, that you can give as helper.py okay helper.py so in this helper function, I am simply uh, going to write a print function uh, like a greet. Okay. So here, just I am returning return f string, then hello, then the name we are passing. Okay. So this is a function. Now in this project, I am going to create another file uh, named main.py. Okay. This is the main file here we are going to use this uh, helper function. So now uh, in this main.py I am going to import uh, like from my package. Okay this is the package name right and from here I can import the helper. Okay so here from my package I am importing helper. Now here I can uh, simply uh, print helper dot greet then i can pass here the name so here i am simply passing our channel name coding guys okay now if i am running this code you can see we are getting hello coding guys this init.py does not have to be empty you can actually write python code inside it and that code will run every time the package is imported okay for example if i am uh, writing like this here print uh, I can give uh, something like this uh, loading page okay so I am running this you can see this loading page is also showing this is because Python runs this init.py file before using anything else inside the package that is why it is showing first next we can make this importing more easy as in this example we have a function greet right but you don't want users to always write this helper.greet. You want them to simply uh, do like this. You can write like this from dot helper import greet. Okay. So in this case, in this main.py, we can easily write like this. I will just remove this line and we can simply write like print then we can simply call this greet uh, then coding heights so here we can simply give all here also import greet okay now if i am uh, trying to run this code you can see here we are getting like this nice and clean right 
so that is one of the main reasons we use in dot py to organize and simplify imports okay now we have one more thing that is uh, double underscore all to control what is public okay sometimes you might not want to show everything inside your package so you can tell python what is allowed to be imported using a list called all okay i will show you here in this uh, init.py we have this right now here we can use uh, like this all so here we can mention what uh, everyone can view so what we can make it public okay so in this case i am making like this greet only okay so now if someone writes from uh, the like my packages import star it will only import uh, this greet only so here you can see uh, i am doing like this import star that means it will import everything right but as we mentioned here all is greet it will only import this greet only for the time being we only wrote this function if there will be some more function at that case also only this greet will be imported that is the meaning of this all now a small tip like you can put the code in this in dot py but don't make it heavy okay so don't do slow things like reading big files or connecting to the internet there because this files runs every time the package is imported okay so if it is too heavy it can slow down your program now we will create a fun example so you will never forget this concept first you create a folder called the fruit package i have created a new project so inside this project folder i am going to create a package uh, like we can give like a fruit package okay fruit uh, package okay and inside this i am going to create two files named apple.py and uh, banana.py okay so here the file name is apple.py and one more is there that is uh, banana.py then i am going to create one more uh, next one more file is our init.py okay so init.py clear now in this apple.py what i am going to do is i am just uh, writing a function to print okay so here i am going to write like this def show and here uh, i will just uh, print please all right okay next uh, our next function is i just copy from here that is banana okay so here also i'm going to write a function and here banana is yellow now uh, in this init.py i'm going to write like this uh, from dot apple import show okay and here i'm using an alias as there is multiple show for apple and banana right so i can give it as show apple okay and uh, like this same like this for banana as well so i'm writing import uh, show as show underscore banana now here i will write a main.py and here what i'm going to do is i can write like this from a fruit package okay from fruit package import show apple comma show banana okay then i can just call the function show banana and uh, show apple okay now we will just uh, run this code you can see we are getting banana is yellow apple is red okay so here this init.py helping you organize and use our code beautifully so that's it so we learned that init.py tells python that a folder is a package okay it runs automatically when that package is imported you can use it to import functions from inside the package you can control what should be visible to others also it can be empty too and still works fine basically it is the heart of your python package
so that's it for today's video thank you for watching have a nice day